This is Today in Nashville, a celebration of the people, places, and things that make Music City a great place to live. Now your hosts, Kelly Sutton and Carol Sullivan. Happiest Monday to you. It's going to be a fun day. You know why? Because Backstreet's back. It's happening, y'all, tonight. Bridgestone Arena and Howie D is in the house. Yes, of course. He's like, listen, I'm in Nashville. Where Why else not? would I go then? Hey. Today in Nashville, yeah. Howie D is here. We're so excited. He's got a solo album we're going to talk about. Of course, they have a big show tonight at Bridgestone. This whole tour, I mean, they haven't been on tour in a minute. They've been in Vegas. Come I know. in Vegas. Let me just say, I was in Vegas. I was in Vegas in April, and I went there. I had some other stuff, and we were doing ACMs or whatever, and I walked into the place where they were doing the residency, and I went, how did I not know? How am I not here for this? I had to go watch. You had work stuff. You I were was still doing. I was doing the other thing, and I went things. to see that magician guy, and he was fine. But it wasn't a Backstreet show, so I was pretty bummed. Well, tonight is yes. your night, Nashville, because Backstreet is playing at Bridgestone, and they've got a really special guest on their summer tour. Sixteen-year-old yes. country singer Bailey Littrell. Oh my goodness! Yeah, does he look like his dad? Absolutely. He looks it's exactly like his dad. You think so? Oh yeah, for sure, Brian. Looks just like Brian, don't you think? No. Oh, I do. I know. Yeah. But hey, but the, listen, I mean, I'm not questioning anything. I'm just saying they don't look like, I just don't think they look like. And you know, his dad's got that jet black hair and the whole, uh, anyway. So he released his first single, Don't Knock It, last year. Picked up a lot of steam. He's doing really well. Bailey is opening the show tonight at Bridgestone. He's also playing a showcase at FGL House. That's happening at noon. Now, if you remember, Backstreet Boys did a collaboration with FGL a couple years ago. Ooh. I feel like that might be how this all kind of sparked. I don't oh, know. So Very cool, right? It could be a good old time. Uh, that little flyer says 1230, so it's you got 12. a little bit of time. You can just hop out there and go over to FLG House. If FGL. You have, if you have the time. FGL. Listen, you got know, it. Listen, you know I'm not totally on the... I'm not hip with all the things. Okay? <laughs> I don't know where the kids are hanging out these days. I don't know days. where the kids are hanging out. <laughs> Which is fine. I love you so much. I'm, I'm mom in my life hard. We're doing it. We're in it today. And today's going to be beautiful. It's going to be no, a beautiful day. No, it's not. Day. It's going to rain almost all day. It, but it's not 105, so I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Well, it won't be beautiful. It will be raining, but I was pretty pumped when I looked at uh, the weather and they said, hey. 80 degrees? 80 degrees are high today. We were fighting about this all morning. Your phone says high of? 75. But we've said it's 80 here. I know. We're going to check in later. We'll get an official reading. We do have a weather department right downstairs. <laughs> we so could have just asked them. We could know? have asked. They would have given us a solid. But I'm they're sure. coming up in our show in just a few minutes, yes. so it's fine. It's dreary outside today, but it's International Dog Day. Stop. Yes. Folks on Twitter are paying tribute to their furry friends today. The sweetest. Listen, let's face it. Social media pays tribute to dogs every single day. <gasps> Is this Wicked. the latest of Wicked? Look Is at my boy. Dog? Look at my boy. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's so cute. Did he go gray? I felt no. like he had some brown. No, in his... he's, he's very white. He's really? very white. Yeah. He... You know, if like time in your household, you just like. <laughs> it does age a lot of people being around my family. But no, the back, his back still has a little brown on it. So yeah, oh, he's pretty. He's, he's, he's mostly looking more white. like a little snowball. Yeah. What a sweetie. He's going to the vet today. So happy International Dog Day. Sorry, Wicked. Hey, listen, did we get on the treadmill this morning? Because it was a big carb weekend for you and I. Oh, yes, it was. We had a lot of fun. It was so good. We went to so the new goodness. restaurant at the Mall at Green Hills, North Italia. Oh, you and Paul had a little date lunch. We did, and I drank that, and it was delicious, and I could have had eight more of those. Ooh, oh, that chicken parm. He got yes. the chicken parm. Mm -hmm. We had the mussels to start. It was delish. This was dessert. Hello. Is that tiramisu? Tiramisu. Delicious. We did tiramisu and we did the, we they brought us another dessert, which was the salted caramel. Oh, boudini. Boudini. Which is uh, an Italian pudding. Look at you at Teague's. That was my sweet French date. Sweet Teague's. Got the Teagan. bolognese. We had so much fun. It was great. I got all the, I know she was pumped. Listen, right? You get excited. So good. Ball of pasta. We ate it all. It was, <laughs> it was delicious. Fun. So good. So I loved seeing this. The Tennessee made a list of the top 100 country songs of all time. Okay. These first three that were in their list, I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board with most Here of these. Here we go. Yeah, all right. First, first one I thought of was. Jolene. Yes. yes, absolutely. Dolly Parton. Then Tim McGraw's Live Like You Were Dying. 100%. Oh, incredible, gosh. incredible song. My karaoke song, Stand By Your Man. That's your karaoke song? 
Oh, yeah. How did I not know that? Oh, I, I did don't know, know that. I know, but I've said it a lot. I did so know that. I, I just went through. I blocked it. Stand by you. That's, I do that. Oh I my. Yes. Yes, you did. Yes. Okay, so I was thinking, what are the songs I would want to hear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. And this is the other thing the top 100 list, they only let one entry per contestant. Per artist. So if yeah. it was Dolly Parton, Jolene, that's all you get. Right. You're not so going to get. Johnny Cash only gets one. I would say Ring of Fire, for 100%. Sure. Uh, Friends in Low Places. Gotta yeah, but they be in chose there. a different one for Garth. They, they did the river, the dance. Mm, the dance. Okay. Oops. And then I said Reba Fancy. Yeah. I was listening to Fancy back in my cubicle this morning. Did you hear it? I was blasting it and singing it. And, no, and I sit right next to and you. And I was watching what? the video, which if you haven't seen that video in a hot second, you need to give it another look. Woof. Really? Yes. The Reba Fancy video? Reba Fancy video. I need to watch this. And it says, I need to uh, watch this. Fancy Ray Baker School for Runaways. She's going to found the School for Runaways right there on the site. So now I want a t-shirt that says Fancy Ray Baker School for Runaways. <laughs> okay, I would wear oh it all gosh. day.